Hello everyone and welcome back to the Da Vinci Code. I'm determined to get this game done tonight because I cannot have to worry about it tomorrow. I've run over with this game and it's an and I've had enough of it. <laughs> There's something I'm missing. You should look around. Use the king symbol on the empty space in the altar. Oh, St. John's Chapel, was that? Yeah, St. John's Chapel. I, I, I didn't actually look. <laughs> Idiots. Yep, it is. Okay. Use the altar. Use the use the use the altar. Use the key, king symbol on the. Have I got the king symbol? Yes, I have. Look, there are tiles with symbols on them. I know, and it looks like one of the tiles is missing. So far, so good. Okay, so we need to arrange them. Queen, Baron, King, Soldier. Center? Oh, you need to press them in that. Okay, Baron. Oh, not arrange them, press the buttons. Knight. What is this? I don't know. It reminds me a little of the shield on Chaucer's tomb. Let's read the last poem. Think back on all you have now observed, and find the knight with whom you first conferred. He seeks the orb that ought to be on his tomb, but only if the seed lies in its womb. Oh, you know how much I'll enjoy this. Use force if necessary. Why don't we just call it even? He's out cold. I better move him out of sight. No, you don't need to because there's no need. The unusual cylinder. It fits perfectly. Return to Newton's tomb. I couldn't actually save it properly last night, so let me see if I can save it. Ah, I think I can. I think it's allowing me tonight. Nicely done. Nicely, lovely jubblies. 
Uh, also, the other thing as well, just so you know, this probably will be a shorter video because it's just going to be the end of this particular part of the game. But in actual fact, I'm not actually finished at the end of the levels on this because I've got some uh, bonus levels to do. Must be something we are not thinking of. There's a hole in the back here, as though something might fit in there. But no worlds? Remember, we are looking for the password to the cryptex. T Bing's life depends on it. I know, Sophie. Let's examine everything carefully. Did you hear that? Look, a drawer slid up. There's a scroll inside, but it looks like it's missing half. The spinal puzzle will reveal the word that frees you from the losses you incurred. But where's the other half? It's perfectly. So strange a message, though. Reading it out loud sometimes helps. The spinal puzzle will reveal the word that frees you from the losses you incurred. Your family reunion is at hand. See through the picture and you'll understand. Family reunion? Robert, everyone in my family is dead but me. That'd be a very disturbing reunion. But I think your grandfather may have had something else in mind. Look. These tiles were meant to go on top of the completed scroll. Ah, you're right. Let us see what picture the tiles form. That clearly is not what is meant to happen. Okay. Um. Ah, uh, okay, I get I think I understand now.
passed away. But there has to be something else. I think an S appears there, an E appears in the middle. There we go. It is a church. Robert, look. There are holes in the tiles. You can see letters through them. P A Y E N S. Payens is the final password for the cryptex. And Huda Payans founded the Knights Templar, which means that this must be a Templar church in the picture. Now what do we do? We can use this to get Teabing back. But Robert, anyone vile enough to threaten someone's life like this does not deserve to know the secret of the Grail. I don't think we have much of a choice at this point. Teabing is my friend. Our friend. If anything should happen to him. That is quite enough. I am afraid you two are very overdue. Remy. Overdue for what? Ah, I believe I am the one with the power here. My gun will point you in the proper direction to move your feet. Go! You, wait here. And if you value life, be it yours or hers, I suggest you not move. I hope you did not think I did this all by myself. What? What do you mean? Remy, I am afraid your services are no longer needed. <gasps> Teacher! Please believe I never had any intention of your being involved. You came to my home. You came searching for me. Lee, what the hell are you doing? We thought you were in trouble. We came here to help you. As I trusted you. We have much to discuss. Let Sophie leave. You and I can discuss this alone. I have given you the cryptex as a show of good faith. And I'm afraid that is all that I can afford to give you. You couldn't solve it. I am afraid not, Robert. I need your help. Maybe I can distract T-Bing long enough for Robert to think of something. T-Bing is the type of person who hates having his own worlds used against him. So what happens if you do the wrong phrase? I thought... So he was involved. He was actually also part of it as well. I thought you told us that only the wealthy can find the Grail. Let's see if we can solve the cryptex. What? How dare you say such a thing? P A Y E N S. My life's work! It weren't for your grandfather being too cowardly to release the truth to the world, we wouldn't be in this position now. But here we are. And, Robert, you must make your decision. What can you possibly hope to gain through this? Why, Langdon, the one thing that I have always wanted the most, to release the Sangrial documents to the public as they were always intended to be by the Priory. If the Priory wanted to release the documents, Sonier would have done so. Ah, but I discovered a terrible truth. The reason the documents were not released at the beginning of the new millennium, at the ultimate moment of truth, Jacques Sonier changed his mind. So you blame Sonier because the Sangrial documents were never released? Wait. If t is behind everything, then Grandpère's death. He is all of this out. He is the one responsible for Grand Bale. You are the one responsible for my grandfather's murder. But it seems to be working. 
your grandfather failed the priory, the grail, and the... Yes. The man honored with the greatest responsibility in Christian history eschewed his duty. His seneschal were traitors to the grail. He was also under the thumb of the church, and that ultimately is why I had to put his mind at rest and complete his duties for him. What could the church possibly have over Saunier? The church has 2,000 years of experience pressuring those who threaten to unveil its lies. Since the days of Constantine, the church has successfully hidden the truth about Mary Magdalene and Jesus. We should not be surprised that now, once again, they have found a way to keep the world in the dark. The church may no longer employ crusaders to slaughter non-believers, but their influence is no less persuasive. No less insidious. Employing Crusaders' persuasive influence, insidious. He's not just describing the church. Is he a complete hypocrite? He has done everything that he says he hates the church for. You are no better than the church. Worked. Now for the next part. What are you talking about? You manipulated Silas. P A Y E N S. As you did. But everything I did was to expose the truth. What does it matter? Fuck! You become exactly like the very thing you despise. Oh, no, my dear. You have no idea of what you speak. Perhaps I can illustrate my point with something you've been wondering about since you were old enough to think. Miss Navu. For some time now, your grandfather has wanted to tell you the truth about your family. How could you know that? My methods are immaterial. The important thing for you to grasp right now is this. The deaths of your mother, father, grandmother, and brother were not accidental. What are you saying? Robert, it explains everything. All the pieces fit. History repeats itself. The church has a precedent of murder when it comes to silencing the Sangrial. With the end of days imminent, killing the Grand Master's loved ones sent a very clear message. Be quiet. You and Sophie are next. These are just theories, but there is one murderer to be blamed. Even if the church did murder my parents, he is no better. And now you have taken over where the church has left off. What do you mean? You have no proof about what happened to my parents, but now we do know one truth. It was you who murdered my grandfather. It was his own fault. He and his seneschal lied to Silas. Otherwise, I would have obtained the keystone without complication. How was I to imagine the Grand Master would go to such ends to deceive me and bequeath the keystone to an estranged granddaughter? Someone so unqualified to hold this knowledge that she required a symbologist babysitter. So it was you, the entire time? One way or another, the keystone was coming to Chateau Villette. Silas was supposed to steal it from you there, thus removing you from the equation without hurting you, and exonerating me from any suspicion of complicity. However, when I saw the intricacy of Sonier's codes, I decided to include you both in my quest a bit longer. I could have Silas steal the keystone later, once I knew enough to carry on alone. The Temple Church. But you still need a scapegoat. Someone to blame for the murders that lead to the miraculous recovery of the Sangreal documents. I am afraid that Silas served his purpose all too well. As we speak, he is no doubt under the arrest of the police, and he is a well-known member of Manor's Day. Listen. Can you hear it? The Grail is speaking to us across the centuries. She's begging to be saved from the Priory's folly. I implore you both to recognize this opportunity. We need to swear an oath together, a pledge of faith to one another, a knight's allegiance to uncover the truth and make it known. I will never swear an oath with my grandfather's murderer, except an oath that I will see you go to prison. I am sorry you feel that way, mademoiselle. And you, Robert, are you with me or against me? I know how to find the answer. Let Sophie go. And we'll figure it out together at Newton's tomb. I am not going anywhere. That cryptix was given to me by my grandfather. It is not yours to open. Sophie, please. You're in danger. I'm trying to help you. Robert, 
My grandfather would prefer his secret lost forever than see it in the hands of his murderer. Shoot me if you have to. I am not leaving my grandfather's legacy in your hands. Very well. No, Lee, if you even think about it, I will drop this. That bluff won't work on me. I know you better than that. Do you, Lee? I am a lone knight, surrounded by unworthy souls. Very well, a show of faith. Set the cryptex down, and we'll talk. They'll shoot us both as soon as I do. I have to protect Sophie, and the Grail. I didn't get a chance to open it. So does that mean I didn't get a chance to open it? All right, well, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to leave it there, guys. So, next time, the final mission. Thanks for watching. I'll see you then.